Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Abhijit, and you're watching Code Keen. So, like in this video, we will create a search box, and a search box like uh, when you go to some website like Oyo, Flipkart, and when you type something in the input box, it tries to suggest you according to the data which is stored in a database. Like what I am saying, like something like. Uh, if I type H then you can see that that uh, a lot of things matching with this kind of stuff like uh, if I type Valentine so you can see that two of the things are matching in the Valentine like these and these are the addresses which are getting matched to the database and these all are dynamic so in this video we will create something some sort of like this one and this is very important when you are creating some sort of application which has a lot of data stored in a backend then you don't want to like create a list or you want, don't want to create a select box where user can select from that particular a long big drop, drop down so and it's it's a good practice for searching also if you are creating some sort of restaurant application or a uh, hotel booking application then if you can like maintain this kind of stuff then a lot of people like will use a uh, try to use this thing so so like a lot of people will get help from it and they see like i can search from over here so apart from this like i have a one one very great extension for you the name of the extension is sorcery it's a code refactoring for python and this extension is really very awesome if you want to refactor your code if you want to like uh, write the code which uh, like uh, a uh, which is like more readable then definitely do install this extension in your vs code the link will be in the description and uh, you can definitely check out this action this one is very recommended from my side also so let's start the video okay let's back to the coding Start the coding like uh, this is a models.py here i have created a model uh, which is to which is the class the name of the class is like fake address and it has a address field in it and the address field like text field and all also I have written a function which is like uh, to generate fake data and this uses like a faker library to generate all the fake data as like if we need like some sort of data to search upon so this is it like generating 100 data and if I show the admin panel of this side so <clears throat> so these are the like fake data created uh, from the faker library okay so like we need to install like one plugin uh, we will use like one javascript library and that one is like auto complete js this is a library which we are going to use in in the in the project for the front end and uh, this library is very easy to install we can get the javascript component and we get include the script part in the stm and we have to just copy one more styling stuff okay so i am already using like bootstrap for styling and we need to add this thing okay so once the thing is like ready we have to initialize the variable okay so let's open a script tag and this is stuff okay so before starting let's create our api Hana. so like we can we um, i'm not using like some sort of rest framework in this project because this project is very small we will like use a function to create data so like search address is a function and that uh, will request for the get parameter our url will look something like this search slash search and uh, address will be like in a query string okay so let's get to get a query string inside our function we need to like do this address is equal to request dot get dot address and if address is there we need to search upon the data so fake address obgs let's create a variable fake address obj and just grab all the data which matches to that particular address object dot address dot filter and we can use like 
in javascript we have a method like i contains which grabs all the data like which it ha it, it matches it's a kind of a searching thing okay so uh, we are getting all the data which matches to the address which we have passed from the query string then we just need to create a dictionary like list uh, the name of the list will be like payload okay so it's a name payload and we have to just iterate to the fake object and we just need to append the data okay so payload dot append fake address obj dot address and uh, just we need to just return json response status is of 200 and the data is of like uh, payload okay so let's just register this url in our project url and the path will be like search and generate data okay so let's test our api and uh, i hope everything works fine like we need to add s e a r c h search so right now we are getting none data because we haven't passed our query string so we can use like for address we have used address for as a query string address equal to val uh, manager as object has no attribute filter it should be filter okay so let's reload our page so like you can see like we are getting the data from the backend uh, which matches to the val and if we see like do some sort of this thing okay so these are the steps so like our api is now working okay so now let's go to the front end are now in front end and we need to we are grabbing when we are initializing the autocomplete okay we are like we are grabbing to the id and we need to create a function like search okay and it will take an input and a call back and uh, we can just print out the console dot log input and uh, let's again move to the front end so so if we type something over here we can get the data like one two three we are getting the data so we need to create now we are getting the data we have to call this api inside this function okay so we will create a url const equal to url and uh, we will use like template literal for this search and the endpoint is search we need to pass the address and the address is equal to input okay so like we need to call the api new promise resolve is equal to fetch the url again after fetching the url we need to convert it into a json format so response is equal to response dot dot json and again then data is equal to resolve data dot data okay so like after fetching the data we need to uh, i need to console the log the data again let me just reload and if i type something you can see we are fetching the data from the database like if we type something like valentine we have got three of the data if we type something more we can like get the data so like our uh, now search is like working and you can see like all the data which are uh, which we want our render perfectly okay so what if when we want to like click something on the data then what we want to do like if someone wants to click the data like we can create create a method over here on submit
okay so let's again reload the page and like type something if we click like we can we got the data from here so we can read direct to the page using javascript and we can do like window dot open dot we can create the separate page for this and the places and we can pass the data in a query string search is equal to result okay so now let's reload the data again we have some typo mistake window dot location dot open window dot open we have to remove the dot over from here so let's again try this out like if we type something hello this is a place and we if we click we go to the new page over here where we can like set uh, render the data using django so i think this is this is it for the video and i hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, if you like the video please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, meet you in the next video goodbye